Hello, I'm Marion Moser-Jones from University of Maryland College Park School of Public Health. Nancy Ellish from University of Maryland School of Medicine Baltimore and I are co-chairs of the poster session at the 7th Annual Public Health Research at Maryland Day on April 2nd. We're hosting this webinar to go over the poster guidelines with you so that you understand the submission process and what we are looking for in a poster. A poster session is a designated time usually taking place in a large room or space where students and other researchers put up large posters summarizing their public health research or project, then stand by the poster to present this research to others. During a poster session, people attending can move through a room, learn about a relevant project, and network with the researchers. This webinar will provide you with basic guidance to prepare your abstract for submission and to guide the preparation of your poster. Here are our email addresses in case you have any questions. Remember, this poster session is an opportunity for you to showcase your ongoing work in a wide range of topics. What are we looking for? We're not only looking for research studies. Your poster can also describe some other public health project you've conducted. As part of the abstract submission process, you will need to select a primary research category and, if appropriate, a secondary research category from the drop-down list provided. This year's categories are 1. Behavioral Health, Mental Health, Substance Abuse, and the Opioid Epidemic, 2. Cancer Prevention and Control, 3. Environmental Health, Occupational Health, Environmental Justice, and Climate Change, Four, family, child, and adolescent health, including maternal and child health. Five, health care, access to health care, insurance, and technology. Six, health disparities, population health, immigration, and health. Seven, health literacy, health communication, and health education. Eight, obesity prevention, physical activity, exercise, physiology, and movement. 9. Data Analytics, Surveillance, Community Needs Assessment, Pedagogy, and 10. Tobacco and Nicotine Products. Now what if your poster fits into more than one category? Well, you can choose a secondary category from the drop-down menu. Shoot. What are we looking for? We're not only looking for research studies. Your poster can also describe some other public health project you've conducted. As part of the abstract submission process, you will need to select a primary research or project category, and if appropriate, a secondary research or project category from the drop-down list provided. This year's categories are 1. Behavioral me Health, Mental Health, Substance Abuse, the Opioid Epidemic, and this category includes violence prevention and human trafficking. Two, cancer prevention and control. Three, environmental health, occupational health, environmental justice and climate change. Four, family, child and adolescent health, including maternal and child health. Five, health care, access to care, insurance and technology. Six, health disparities, population health, immigration and health. 7. Health Literacy, Health Communications, and Health Education. 8. Obesity Prevention, Physical Activity, Exercise, Physiology, and Movement. 9. Data Analytics, Surveillance, Community Needs Assessment, and Pedagogy. And 10. Tobacco and Nicotine Products. What if your poster covers many topics? Then we recommend picking one topic category that's most closely related to it. Think about where you would submit or present your research or project if you were looking for a specialty conference. What type of journal would you submit to? Answering these questions may help you narrow down the topic, but remember, your work just needs to be related to the topic you choose, even if it covers other topics as well. You can choose a secondary topic also in the online submission form. So how do you submit online? First, go to this URL, http backslash backslash publichealthresearch.umd.edu.
The abstracts are due by March 25th, although the site is now open for registration and abstract submission. Go to the Public Health Research at Maryland website where you will see information about the program. You need to register for the meeting first, so first go to Registrations and complete the form. You need to register and then you can submit a poster. When you've completed registration, go to Submit a Poster where you will start the abstract submission process. Whether you are presenting the results of a research study or presenting the conclusions of a public health project, the components of the abstract will be the same. Note that these components will then become the basis of your actual poster. First, think about the title of your poster. You want it to be concise, but also to draw interest. You need it to describe the topic you're covering, as well as the specific approach you're taking and the question or questions you're asking. So, for example, the title Smoking and Pregnancy in Maryland is too vague. You tell us the topic, smoking, the location, Maryland, but not what you're examining. What about smoking and pregnancy? Smoking cessation during pregnancy among Maryland adolescents, 2015 to 2016, is a better title. Here you define not just the what, the topic of smoking and pregnancy, the who, your population under analysis, pregnant Maryland teens, and the analysis date. You, get, you can get more specific and mention your data source and analysis, but make sure the title is not too long. Then for the background section, provide a brief description of why you conducted the research or project. Then explain the gap in knowledge or practice you are filling with your project. You want to let reviewers know why the topic is important. This section should only be two to three sentences. After this is the goal or overall purpose of the project. In one sentence, state the purpose of your project or research. The objective section should state the specific study objectives and or hypotheses tested. For some projects, it may be more appropriate to state the specific tasks you undertook, what you did to intervene, or the specific teaching objectives in a pedagogical project. Use numbers or bullets if you have multiple objectives or tasks. In the approach section, you should describe your study design and methods if you did a research project. For other types of projects, this is where you should describe what you did. For the results conclusion section, you should briefly describe the results or conclusions of your study project. Usually, the results should align with your study objectives or tasks. The last component of the abstract, but not the least important, is to describe the importance of your project to public health. This section should be one to two sentences. Now, you may have noticed that throughout this webinar, we've mentioned that you should, quote, briefly describe a particular component. The text of a poster should be clear and to the point with graphs, tables, and figures interspersed throughout. This will make the poster more readable. Omit lengthy explanations or unnecessary data. Here are some additional poster guidelines and information. A regular poster size is usually 3 feet by 4 feet. The assigned space for your poster is 4 feet by 4 feet. The poster guidelines section of the web page under the heading Program provides links to templates that can be used. Specific links exist for the UMB School of Medicine and for the UMD School of Public Health. Check with your school on where you can print your poster and whether your department or school will help with it. The poster session will take place in the Stamp Student Union in the Grand Ballroom at the University of Maryland College Park. We recommend you set up your poster between 7.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Tuesday, April 2nd, but they must be up between 12.30 p.m. and 2 p.m. for judging. Please remove your poster between 2 and 3 p.m. The morning of Public Health Research at Maryland Day, first go to the registration table to pick up your registration material. At that time, you will be assigned the specific place for your poster. 
tax will be available to hang up your poster. Each poster will be evaluated by two judges. You will need to be by your poster at your assigned time to give a brief oral presentation. Both the poster and the presentation will be scored based on six criteria. Scores for each criterion can range from 1 to 10, with 1 to 2 points considered poor, 2 to 3 points considered fair, 5 to 6 points considered good, 7 to 8 points considered very good, and 9 to 10 points considered excellent. The six criteria that will be assigned scores are 1. Background Goal 2. Objectives 3. Approach 4. Results Conclusions 5. Importance to Public Health and 6. Effectiveness Judges will evaluate the overall poster effectiveness by considering if the poster is visually attractive and professionally polished. This includes using a font size that is large enough to read easily, appropriate visual images, appropriate title, using terminology that viewers outside of the discipline can understand, so no jargon, appropriate and legible tables and figures, and adequate white space. In judging the effectiveness of the presentation, the judges will take into account whether the contents of the poster are clearly described using language that is not too technical, answering questions clearly and succinctly, and using professional body language including appropriate eye contact. Awards will be announced at 3.15 p.m., so you're highly encouraged to attend this session. We have provided you with several templates for the layout of your poster. The first incorporates the logo of the University of Maryland School of Public Health. The second incorporates the logo of the University of Maryland School of Medicine. And the third allows you to put in a logo yourself. Use these templates as a guide, but do not worry about filling every space in the exact way indicated in the template, since you may not have the same number of figures or tables that are shown in the template. Make sure to include your school's logo in the upper left corner of the poster. From this web page, you can download a template for your poster. Students from the School of Public Health and School of Medicine can download a template with their school's logo. Students from other schools should work with their mentor to download the appropriate logo and insert it in their poster. Thank you for your interest in submitting a poster to Public Health Research Day. We look forward to seeing you there. Also, if you have any additional questions regarding posters, please email us at the email addresses provided earlier or submit them to the email address phrm at umd.edu and state poster question as the subject. Thank you.